Okay, Brandon, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining us here today on uh, the Spider Success Podcast. Uh, I'd love for you to take the opportunity to introduce yourself, what it is that you do for our student athletes here at the University of Richmond. <laughs> Great, thank you, RD. Uh, so my name is Brennan Halligan. I am the Associate Director of Experiential Learning and Assessment uh, in the Career Services Office. And uh, one of the main things that I oversee and manage is the Richmond Guarantee UR Summer Fellowship Program. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard of it, um, but the Richmond Guarantee says that Every student has the opportunity for one funded research or internship experience um, over the summer uh, during their time at U of R, um, and that can be funded up to uh, $5,000 um, for, and the, the funding is dependent on the number of hours um, that a student works in, in an internship or a research experience. Nice. So <clears throat> when it comes to the Richmond Guarantee, I know uh, you look on the website and there's a bunch of different uh, descriptions on there. Uh, for most of our student athletes, which one should they be looking toward if they were looking to sign up, fill out the application for the Richmond Guarantee? And uh, do you could you lay out a timeline of application to acceptance and all that? Yeah, yeah. So, so a couple things uh, that students should be aware of. Um, one is the parameters of the experience. Um, so I mentioned uh, that the funding is dependent on the number of hours. Um, so an internship or research experience to be eligible needs to be at least 240 hours. Uh, so that is uh, six weeks full time. Um, the maximum amount that is funded is 400 hours. Um, and so that's 10 weeks full time. And then um, so it's funded at a rate of $12.50 an hour. Right. Um, and in order for an experience to be eligible, it needs to be unpaid or paid below $12.50 uh, $12 an hour. Um, in terms of uh, timeline, um, students should uh, the application becomes available in the spring semester. And um, and what students need to do to take advantage of that is um, they have to apply um, if they're interested in any of the internship programs. And I'll back up in a minute and explain the different programs. Um, they are required to come to an information session, which uh, which we have several options in the spring semester um, for students to be able to do that. Um, and they also need to get a recommendation. Uh, from either a faculty member, staff member, coach, um, an advisor uh, that can kind of speak to their preparedness uh, to, to take on the, the internship. Uh, so they do all those things prior to the deadline, and we have two deadlines. Generally, the first deadline is in early April. Okay. Uh, the purpose of that first deadline is uh, for students, uh, one, that have secured an experience, they know what they're doing and they want to know if they have that funding early on. It's also for students that are looking at an international experience. Um, so if you're going abroad, you need to apply for that early April deadline. Um, and if you're planning on living on campus, uh, you also should apply by that early deadline as well. Um, and, then, um, and then the final deadline is uh, generally that last week of classes. Um, so, and that's to give students more time to uh, have a better idea of what they're planning on doing this summer. Cause we understand that um, internship search processes can go um, pretty far into the semester and not everything's wrapped up in early April. Uh, so you asked about uh, programs and kind of when students go to the website, what, what should they be looking for? Um, and so students know there are seven programs uh, each school has a research program uh, that they can students can apply to, um, and then there are four internship programs. Uh, so there is the civic fellowships for students that are interested in nonprofit um, and government experience. Uh, there's the chaplaincy fellowship, uh, that's for students interested in uh, exploring spiritual commitments uh, along with professional uh, aspirations. 
Uh, the Burris Fellowship is for students that are Jepson Juniors fulfilling their internship requirement. Um, and the largest internship program is Spider Internship Funds, and that's a real broad program where students can intern for startups, government organizations, for-profit organizations, political campaigns. Um, so a lot of different things you can do through Spider Internship Funds. All right. So I have two, two questions for you. Yeah. Well, one's a question, one's more of a statement. Just to be clear, you can apply for the Richmond Guarantee before you secured your internship location. Yes, thank you for mentioning that. That's really important <laughs> um, because one thing that's important to know is applications are not accepted late. Um, so, but you can submit an application before your internship is is secured. Um, so on your application, what you are applying for, you are applying for a first choice experience. Um, so if you're applying for a few different things or you have a couple different interviews and you're not exactly sure which one you're doing and that May deadline is approaching, put your application in. Um, if you end up doing something that is not that first choice experience that you submitted on your application, uh, there is a process. Uh, so, and if you are awarded funding, there's a process for you to be able to provide us with information to have your award go towards the experience that you did secure. Okay. Okay. Now for my question, I promised you no gotcha questions, <laughs> but if I do a research, uh, a summer research program, could I follow that the next year and do an actual unpaid internship and get the Richmond guarantee or is it one or the other? Is it possible to do? So what the Richmond guarantee is, is one experience. Um, okay. So it's a little complicated to think about, but the way to understand it is um, if you do that research experience first, the guarantee has been fulfilled. Okay. There are seven programs um, and some of those seven programs will fund a student that has received um, the guarantee, has already fulfilled the guarantee. Uh, the, the program that once you have, have uh, received funding for an internship or research program um, that you would not be eligible for anymore is spider internship funds. And the reason for that is the volume of students that that program funds um, to make sure that the program is sustainable um, that program is specifically designed for students that have not utilized the funding before. But our other six programs are able to fund students that have uh, received an award in the past, but but students should be aware that priority goes to students that have not uh, received an award in the past year. Right. Okay. Got it. Great. Um, so that's a lot of valuable, uh, great information. Any other programs that you're involved with that we want to highlight for our student athletes or? Yeah, the uh, so no, I would say the Richmond Guarantee is kind of the main, my main area. Um, and I would just encourage student athletes to be proactive early um, for getting involved with that. So talk to faculty if you're interested in research, come into career services, um, connect with us. Make sure you're you're doing those information sessions and securing those recommendation recommendations long before the deadline because you don't want to miss it. Outstanding. Well, Brendan, I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. This was very effective. A lot of information so that we can uh, have everybody making sure they take advantage of their uh, Richmond Guarantee experience. So great. Thank you. I Thanks. appreciate you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. You as well. Thanks, R.D. All right. Bye-bye.